have my ribs boiling now for about 30 minutes and boiling them is very highly recommended because it cuts down your cook time when you put them in the oven and it helps them get very very tender if you just throw them in the oven without boiling them it's going to take extra long for them to cook and they may not be as tender so i have my ribs here after they have been done boiling and so for the rub this is what i'm going to use I, I made my own i am going to add what i used um so that you guys can know and so just going to sprinkle this evenly onto each one on both sides now these are hot so be careful when you're trying to rub it in but you want to get it all in there or you can use a spoon or however way you're going to do it and just make sure you get both sides okay so now both sides of my ribs are well seasoned and what i'm going to do is cover this very tightly you want to cover it with foil as tightly as you can and put them in the oven on 350 i have my oven on 350 and you're going to leave them in there for about 40 minutes to an hour after that time is up you're going to take it out coat them with your sauce and put them back in the oven for a little while longer so now i'm going to show you guys how i make the sauce to put over the ribs okay guys so for the homemade sauce i'm going to start with ketchup now I'm going based off of how many ribs I have. I have quite a bit of ribs. I have four slabs there, so I gotta make a little bit. And it also depends on how saucy you like your ribs. I don't like mine drowning in sauce. I kinda like my sauce to be cooked into the ribs. And so that's about it. I don't want it too saucy. So after that, I'm going to add some spicy brown mustard. Next, I'm going to add Worcestershire sauce, or however you say it. A few sprinkles of that in there. And last, I'm going to add some honey. If you don't have honey, brown sugar works just as good. Add that in there. And now, just give it a good mix. This is how it looks and now this is your sauce so you make this sauce how you like it or you can just use the jar um you know barbecue sauce whatever sauce you prefer this is just how i make it now you taste it and you add um you know more ketchup more honey brown sugar whatever you want to make it to your liking and also another thing that's optional is if you have leftover rub you can add just a little bit in there to season it up that's optional and you mix that in there just to give it a little more flavor so now this is your sauce when your ribs are done this is what you're going to coat them with like I said I don't like mine too saucy so I put mine this is going to be just enough for the ribs that I have okay so it's been 45 minutes that I had them in and guys they are already so tender literally the knife goes right through them so what I'm going to do is put my barbecue sauce on there and put them back in for another maybe 20 minutes. Let the barbecue sauce soak up in there and then they'll be done. But what I'm going to do when I put the barbecue sauce, I'm not going to cover it back up. Just put the barbecue sauce in there and put it in just like that. So I have my sauce added. And like I said, depending on how saucy you like your wings, that's how much sauce you can go ahead and add. But I just want mine cooked into it. I don't want it too saucy, you know, like dripping off and stuff like that. And then so you put it on both sides. Kind of get it all over. I coated with the sauce and I'm going to put them back in the oven for about another 20 minutes. Okay, so... It's been about another 30 minutes. I cut one up so you guys can see how juicy they are. It's nice and tender. And like I said, I don't like mine too saucy. So this is how they look.
pork. And guys, these are beef ribs. Once again, we don't eat pork, so these are beef. A lot of people don't like to do beef ribs because they don't really have as much meat as the pork ribs. But I got lucky this time and actually found some with some meat on them. So... You just got to dig and get the good ones for the beef ribs. But if you guys like this video, if you guys try this recipe out, let me know in the comments and let me know how you like them. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video.